Hello everybody, it's The Last Raider. We're back with another video and today, today we have just proof that the Democrats could not win a war even if the enemy had their hands tied behind their backs. Every soldier. What we have right now uh, that is happening, for those who don't know, President Trump had his first rally and there were some missing empty seats. And we have... Now, at first, this this might have been a good thing for the Democrats. They could have made the claim that, you know, COVID was keeping people out. Or they could have made the claim of, oh, you know, Trump doesn't have a whole lot of, of base. They would have actually had an argument. Had idiots like Horseface Cortez had not come out and opened their stupid mouths. Okay? And the biggest amount, the biggest foot in mouth syndrome I've ever seen in my life. Because one of the things you gotta remember about the Democrats, they are proud, vain people, all of them. Okay? When uh, Nancy Pelosi got asked if she hated Donald Trump or hated someone, she said, I, I don't hate them, I'm a Christian. That was vanity. Okay? You just say, no, no, I'm just asking questions. That's all That's all that really, that's the only way you really got to deal with that situation. But here you have uh, Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez here. When uh, she's sitting there talking about all this stuff. Remember, until these people started talking about this, there might have been a possibility. You might have shaken Trump's base. You might have. But here, here's what she goes. After some, after someone had mentioned uh, the seats and everything, and she goes, "Actually, you got rocked by teens on TikTok who flooded the Trump campaign with fake ticket reservations and tricked you into believing a million people wanted your white supremacist open mic enough to pack an arena during COVID." Shout out to Zoomers, y'all make me proud. No, you shouldn't be proud, you dumbass. It's amazing just how stupid these people are. Every time they do something, they think it's going to have some some disastrous effect on Trump. And it turns out he, he just bowls right through. Like I said, had Ocasio and many others kept their mouths shut about this, you might have had a successful PSYOP. Might. Keyword. You didn't have much of a chance anyway. But you might have had a successful... You could have basically sat back and said, well, Trump didn't fill an arena. I guess those people weren't going to come out for COVID. Did you not see the people in the parking lots? I, there were people in the parking lots. I was watching real-time stuff. There were people in the parking lots. There were people everywhere. The thing that you're not recognizing here is you went in and took someone's tickets. Let me ask this very simple question to any liberal who happens to come across this video. If you were going to see someone great, say you were going to an Obama rally or a Martin Luther King rally, Okay? And I'm not comparing Trump to either of them because one, Martin Luther King was a guy that managed to change the world without being a president. And two, Barack Obama was a pretty crappy president in my opinion. But what I'm saying is, you as a liberal, you'd want to go see these two individuals. Now imagine if the Klan come out and they bought all the tickets and then they came out and bragged about how they had bought all the tickets and no one got to hear the speeches. No one got to see Obama. Oh, we, we stopped a bunch of people. We all stopped a bunch of uh, pro-anti-racist pro individuals, whatever the frick you want to call it nowadays because y'all want to convolute every single definition. A bunch of anti-racist abolitionists and non-segregationalists from going in there and seeing President Obama. Oh, no, 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 no. Would that stop you? Would that shake your support? Would that end up right there when you realize that white supremacists had stopped you by buying all the tickets up and setting the reservations for those tickets? Would that have would that have really shaken you? Would it really make you vote white supremacist? The answer is no. Do you know why? Because basically what happened was the white supremacists would have walked up there, snatched your ticket out of your hand, and thrown it into a burning barrel and incinerated your ticket. They would have robbed you of something and you would know it. And they will have publicly, keyword, admitted to doing such a thing. That's why this suddenly became an in unsuccessful psyop, okay? You could have had something. All you had to do was keep Horseface over here shut up. And she doesn't have the tact to just keep her mouth 
shut. Nancy Pelosi's probably over there. This would have been successful. Well, now here her dentures going through her mouth. It's rattling inside of her mouth. This would have been successful if Ocasio had not opened her stupid mouth. All sorts of racial epithets going through Nancy Pelosi's mind at that moment. Because this would have had some effect. Now it's going to have the opposite effect. K-pop, stand, K-pop fans didn't do much of nothing. Okay, What you did was you aided Trump's base. We know that this has happened now. And what I would tell President Trump to do from now on is at his rallies make them first come, first serve. No reservations. Because if someone's going to ruin the reservation system, we'll go first come, first serve. And when you get the ticket, in order to keep the ticket, you got to go inside. So if you want to go in there as a Democrat and stop Trump and stop Trump supporters from seeing the president and going inside, you will have to buy a ticket and go in. You will have to buy your ticket and go into the Trump rally and be there. And if you leave the Trump rally, well, you 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 forfeit your ticket. And then we sell it to someone else. Someone else can buy that ticket and go back in. Just make it to where there's like zero reservations. And if you leave the Trump, if you leave the stadium, you automatically lose your ticket. You don't get let back in and you have to pay to get back into the stadium. And when someone walks out, they'll be like, okay, we've got a person walking out. We can let one more person back in. That's how you solve this problem. And you might be impressed. If Trump does that, his base is going to come out now. Because they're like, oh, no, 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 no. Y'all don't get to sit there and tell us that Trump is not going in there. I would say give off a certain number of reserves, actually. A certain number of reserves seating to anyone who can get their hands on. Other than that, it's first come, first serve. You want to get over there? You got to get there. And if someone leaves in the middle of it, well, guess what? You've lost your ticket. I'm sorry. And I'd be satisfied with that. Because if I go to a dang Trump rally, I'm going to stay there. I'm walking away with one of them limited edition camo hats. Actually, you know what? This is what I want from Trump. I want a gold, like one of those gold 90s pimp hats. Here, see one of those? It's like gold and it's bedazzled on the front. Trump, MAGA. A, a gold and diamond bedazzled um, MAGA hat. Okay? I want just not colored diamonds. I just want regular diamond studs in there. Those Swarovski crystals looking thing and have it just like a gold rapper hats like back in the 90s you know look at look at this gold hat look at this gold jacket i got on you know back in the day when rappers were hip man that that's that's the kind of trump hat i want when i go in there i want to be shining like a little like a little fleck of gold and all the and all the red sand <laughs> out there out there that one little that one little bright ray of sunshine all right <laughs> That's that's what I'm wanting right now. I probably will do that here before this is over with. This is a, that that would just that would just make people lose their minds. I swear. I would love to do that. Anywho, I'll do that if Trump comes to Missouri. I'm definitely going to one of his rallies. But anyway, like I said, this has not proven a damn thing. If nothing else, it's going to insult the Trump base. They're going to look at this and say, "How dare you do? You have actually, you've actually." will have a better chance of igniting something within an American that's actually quite unique. Okay? The one thing Americans have always been big on is fairness. Americans do not like bullies. You're basically going in there stealing everyone's lunch money, Ocasio. All you K-pop fans. And that's going to really piss off members of Trump's base. They will get more vocal before this is over with. They will get more angry when this is over with. And they will start showing up. President Trump, like I said, get a few reserve seats, maybe pass out some lifetime memberships. You can go to any Trump rally, have them jack the price up to like a hundred hundred bucks for a lot for like you can hit every Trump rally in the entire United States for free. If you've got this one, we'll then you, you send them like a gold plated or platinum uh credit card looking thing that go and they can swipe it on a credit card. Yeah, I'm I'm a lifetime Trump supporter. They would go. And I get the lifetime. I got the gold standard, the platinum standard, the Trump standard. That's what it's called. The Trump standard card. Get into every Trump rally for free. Uh, just pay a one-time dollar. Pay one-time uh, handling of 100 bucks. 
And you get in instantaneously. You can go in and out as much as you want. Or provide, you know, uh, stuff you can buy there. You can go in and out. Do, do, do like, um, what is it? Do like carnivals do, man. Carnivals go in there. They're like, okay, you can have a set of tickets or we can give you an armband. You can ride all the rides you want for free. Uh, well, not free. You pay like 20 bucks. But it's like you can have $50. You can have like 50 tickets, which is a finite amount of time on rides when you consider most of them are like two to three tickets apiece. Just give people the option of buying a more expensive armband so they can go in and out and go from there. Have them buy it and have them go in and they can go in and out. They got, oh, I got an armband. Go in, go out, go grab stuff out of there. Guys can go grab some Miller Lite and bring it inside, have a beer party. Uh, actually, I think Trump should get an open stadium and we can barbecue in there then. That would be fun. Just do like a tailgate barbecue party inside of one of the big football stadiums. That would be awesome. At least then football. At least we'd be getting some use out of them football stadiums. I mean, you probably pack a crap ton of people in one of those. But anyway, folks, tell me what you think about this. Has this shaken your faith in Trump, or has this galvanized you towards it? Are you now ready? If if Trump shows up in your town, are you going to try and get in there now? Do you think Trump should make it first come, first serve, or just have a premium ticket that jacks the price up? And if you don't use that ticket within a certain amount of time, people, other people can take your place. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Anyway, folks, I'm the last Raider. Be sure to tell me how what you think in the comments. Also, one more thing. Thank you, people, for that last video, because that thing just went through the roof, and I was happy. Let's see if we can do it again, okay? Uh, like the video. Share the video. If you are a Trump supporter, if you're MAGA, if you're not, share the video anyway. I don't care. Um, I, I can deal with with criticism. <laughs> I can deal. And people coming in there telling me I'm stupid, I can deal with that too. People have been telling me that my whole life, but it still hasn't worked yet. But anywho, like I said also, if you're new to the channel, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. And as always, I'm the last Raider. Stay, stay frosty, and I'll see you guys in the next video.